Hello. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Okay. The reason I had to restart the stream, like turn it off and then turn it on again, is because I had to close OBS and then open it in Administrator. <clears throat> because that is the only way I know how to get Honkai Star Rail to show. Other than that, I don't know. So that's why I had to do that. Um, uh, before we get into it, just a quick, quick little thing I will mention. I upped the streaming bitrate thing. So hopefully the quality is just a little better. I only upped it a little bit, not a lot. <laughs> in OBS, I upped it by two ticks. So that doesn't sound like a lot, but it went from 900 something to a thousand and something. Hopefully, hopefully I can run that. And if I can't, <laughs> well, oh well. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. But yeah, we're gonna jump into the game right away because I turned on the stream very, very late. I w didn't mean to do it this late, but I got distracted. <laughs> Oh yay, it shows. I got distracted. I was watching the new season of Loki. So, yeah. Oh well. It'll be fine. But yeah. <clears throat> so. Where... We left off last time. We're gonna, we're gonna stay here. We left off, left off last time was we just got done beating Fantelia. And we needed. Why did it go quiet? I don't know why it's very quiet, but we beat Fantelia, and yeah, that fight had to be done like three, four times, but we did it, and we completed that story, and we moved on to the next chapter, which is, or it's in missions, we are on, not that, where the frick is it, this, we're on this. So we just defeated Fantelia and Fushuan caught the surface and everybody was at the same time. And we need to go to the Divine Foresight. Because we don't quite understand what happened. And also, Fantelia still mentioned that the Shinzo Alliance was still kind of under attack somehow. But that's fine. We'll deal with it. And then off stream, I leveled up. As you can see, we also, it's loading. <laughs> we also went through and I farmed and built some of my characters. So Sampo, if we look. Kind of has different relic sets. It's not, it's just placeholder relic sets. Obviously, I need to get better ones of these and better ones of those. But yeah, his traces, on the other hand, are all kind of leveled up to where they can go. They're all kind of leveled up until Center 5. His are like that. We built up links as you can see kind of we kind of built up 
links. We have to fight Intelia to get these. And I didn't really want to. <laughs> Just give me trouble. But we have this on her, which is what Natasha used to have. She has her old one now. We leveled that up to 60. We leveled all of the light cones for the main team up to 60. That's what I did off stream. I did a few more traces for Super Wolf as well as Don Hong. Leveled up this as far that can go. And yeah. This is everyone's current attack stats. Oh! I was about to say Lynx was low because it's based on her HP, her attack is, but it's actually kind of high, so never mind. And I also completed off stream Lynx's story quest, which I kind of regret now because that would have been really fun to do on stream. I'm actually going to turn the music up because I can't hear anything. And I got somewhat partway through a good story quest, which I'm going to finish here. And then we will get back onto the main story quest as well as do some wishing. <laughs> For Jing Liu. Jin Liu. Because I want her. I want her. I want her. I need her. Okay? I need her. And also, Sampo's on the banner. So we can get, hopefully, two of him so we can get his Eidolons. And if we don't get any, if we don't get him or any of these characters, please. Let it be Luca. So I have been trying Luca out through his story quest and through stealing from other people to do things. And he's really cool and I like it. So I want it. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I wanna finish Luca's story. Hello, 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 I like. Okay. Oh, my student. Did something happen recently? I was wondering why he didn't come to see me after the championship match ended. Oh. Come, tell me about it. To... <laughs> I guess I should explain what the heck happened, because I didn't do this part on stream. Um, so we started Luca's story quest, and it starts off by us um, talking with Zila and Oleg. And they tell us about the fighting club and the tournament that they're having. And Alzila didn't really want to go see it because she already knew Luke was going to win again. And they had some like fight club history thing where Luca asked her to fight. Said no. It was an embarrassing ordeal, I guess. I don't know. And then afterwards, we going, because we wanted to see the fight. We missed the fight. And we went out to talk. And then Luca talked about a training thing out by Svarog's camp. And we went through like three quote-unquote trials. They weren't really trials. It all ended in Luca just kind of wanting to fight a Svarog. as in like a sparring match. Zila doubted Sparong would be like, yeah, buddy, let's, 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 let's fight. Let's go. Punch, punch, punch. Um, to her and everyone else's surprise, Sparong suggested the sparring match. And they fought. Luca lost. Ended up in Natasha's clinic because he overexerted himself. And now we're here. Okay. You don't. Oh, look like, what happened. That I tell you what happened. Strange. Luca usually doesn't push himself so far. Huh. He may be a tough guy on the surface, but he's got his secrets. Did he tell you about the origins of his mechanical arm? Mm. 
Oh, he did. Because Farog asked and he said it was like an accident. But that's about uh, it. Then he probably didn't describe the scene in detail. That was six, seven years ago. I was patrolling with some comrades in the neighboring town of Multamerville. We passed an ordinary mechanic's shop. There was a serious looking fella looking after the shop. He was probably a few years younger than me, but his hair and beard were white as snow. There was a young lad doing odd jobs. He looked pretty exhausted. Anyway, I convinced the shopkeeper to let him come with me. Luca was a fast learner. At first, I couldn't figure out if he liked what I was teaching him. Fighting, weapons, strategy, etc. He didn't talk a lot, just kept his head down. Hmm. Then, about a year after I took him in, Luca lost one of his arms while rescuing townsfolk from the Fragmentum in Multamerville. He almost didn't make it. He was unconscious for two or three days. I sat next to his bed, anxious and guilty. Guess what he said to me after he woke up? Sorry. <coughs> Go Master, on. Master, I feel great. Oh. He had bandages all over his body. Most of his wounds hadn't healed yet. But it was the first time he'd ever smiled at me. I still remember that expression. Oh. Guess that kind of sums him up, huh? <laughs> Can't tell from looking at him, right? What I'm trying to say is Luca views other people's lives as more important than his own. That's how he's always been. So when he says stuff like, this is for training, that's probably a lie. He's hiding something from you, all right? <laughs> anyway, I'm too old to be getting involved in this stuff. I'm sure you and Zila can sort this by yourselves. One thing I will ask, please try not to embarrass him too much, okay? He's the fighting champion of Boulder Town, after all. An idol for all the children. He needs to keep up that image. <laughs> Got a message. Oh yeah, and Luca went off, Zila went to follow him. She said she'll keep us updated. So this is Zila. You there? I found Luca. He's on his way to Rivet Town alone. Wanna go there together? Sure. I'm coming. We'll make it if we run. Oh god. I'm waiting for you at the intersection. Come quick. Kiss me all. Where is it? It's over here. I don't know where I'm going. We have plenty of time. Oh, it's over here. Ooh. I'm just gonna grab these things. Whoa. What is this? Oh, I need a complete. I can't do anything. <laughs> Got a companion. Wow. <gasps> so pretty. All of that. Who are you? <laughs> There's so many things I can't do. Okay. Oh, we can do our showcase. <gasps> Hello? Oh my god. So generous. So generous. That's kind of cool. Okay. Um, we'll do that after we finish this. <laughs> okay. Activate. Oop. Ooh. All of these are new. Mm -hmm. Give. Thank you. 
Okay. Oh, you're here. Come on. He wasn't in a hurry, so we should be able to catch up easy enough. Okay. Let's go. Let's run, run, sprint, sprint, run, sprint. Catch up, woo. Omen. Look, there he is. Let's Sneaky. follow him. Stay quiet. Oh, okay. When trailing mode is active, the gameplay prompt will appear on the top of the screen. Screen. Scream. Ah. <laughs> uh, please keep the target. Please. What? Please keep the target you're trailing within your line of sight. After your mission. At, oh my god. I can't read. After your target has left your screen for a set amount of time, you will have lost the target and the mission will be considered failed when the prompt's countdown reaches zero, which is that thing. Please find your trailing target before the prompt's countdown reaches zero. Mm. If we run or sprint, the gauge will go up. Like it is full of measurement weeks of the fail. The do that didn't see or hear you. There are areas where you can go where you can hide. Uh okay. I got it. I don't. Whew. Thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, let's keep up the chase. Can I hide here? Ooh. Oh, I didn't need it. I was testing it out. Hey, he's right there. <laughs> I was trying to keep the corner. Right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. God. Where is he going? Hook. Excuse me? Hook? Where? Why? Wait, that's Hook. What's she doing here? <laughs> the moles are everywhere. Up to no good. Lucas should tell her to go back to town. He's always worrying after the kid's safety. We've come this far. We can't let this kid ruin everything. What? Shh, she's coming this way. Oh, God. She spotted us. <laughs> wow. Yep. Stalking or treasure hunting. Wow, that's so exciting. We're gonna lose him if we don't hurry. Hook, run back to town. Stop hanging around here. Uh, okay. That's what Lucas said too. And don't he's you two right? bring the treasure. Whew, thank goodness we didn't lose him. Quick, so let's keep spot. up the chase. <laughs> Why did he sprint? Why are you sprinting? Why are you sprinting, my guy? This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. for a bit. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Hmm. 
Where the heck is it going? Oh. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. How am I supposed to get up these stairs? Okay. This doesn't feel right. Hey, let's hide for a bit. I did it. I made it up the stairs. <laughs> Wow, we're so hidden. <laughs> did he... Did he put something down? Uh, I feel like we Let's shouldn't. Let's go have a look. I think I just... Um, I just feel like we shouldn't, you know? That was kind of private, but sure, whatever. A uh, case? I... For some reason, I feel like... We shouldn't open it? Yeah, I don't have a reason. It's just a feeling. Yeah, I don't... Then again, uh, we I don't feel good. For ages. No, I don't wanna... It'll be a waste if we don't see what's inside. I don't feel good about it, I wonder though. what's in there. Here, let me open it. Okay, you can do it. Is this a... Uh... Notebook? It looks like a kid's handwriting and some scribbled art. Have a look. I'm, oh man, okay. I feel so guilty. Mr. Luca. Hello. Oh. My name is Margie, and I'm from Wolf's Hammerville, too. I'm a big fan of yours. I've been sick since I was a baby. But I still dream of becoming a big star in the cage one day. Just like you. It's a bit embarrassing. But I wanted my dad to give you this notebook. I wanted to tell you that you've inspired me to keep working hard and achieve my goals. Oh my Even God. if it's hard to reach. I'm gonna cry. When I become a fighter as awesome as you, I'm gonna do my best to help people in the underworld. I wanna team up with my friends and help everyone together so they can smile again. I'll listen to their thanks and then yell out my winning slogan. <laughs> the most terrible warrior, the peerless Boulder Champion! Upholding justice and peace once again! <laughs> then I want to chase away all the bad things hurting everyone. <laughs> I'll go with my friends and clear out all the scary monsters. Yeah, beat up the scary monsters, Margie. Someone fighting fighter. off the monsters. There were two of the first things we did. Sparog is too strong. We'll never win. My and then fighting Sparog is the end. Be willing. 
willing to listen to the Underworlders. So, it'll be a happy ending. My friends will clap, and all the people suffering will be free. But, all that is just my dream. Oh, no. I don't know how long it's going to be till it becomes reality. I'm lying in bed sick right now. But as long as Mr. Luca is around, I won't be scared. I remember everything you said to encourage me. Before becoming a champion, I want to defeat this illness first. Then, I need to learn how to stand, walk, and exercise again. Until I achieve all my dreams. I hope... Uh, no. I believe... Mr. Luca will support me till the end. Alright? Oh my god. That's why. Luca, I think I get it now. Maybe we should forget about all this. What do you say? Oh, I don't. Oh, man. You can't, don't make me make this a choice. God, I hate how hungry I start. It has choices that affect the game. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes, most times they do, though. <sighs> why do you, why do you make me choose? Okay, before I choose, I need to lay out my thoughts. Okay, so Luca wanted to go on this training room. Right? training like trial thing the first part of the trial was helping someone who lost his like robots in the Sparrow camp he lost his robots someone stole them we got them back which is what margie wanted to do she wanted to be able to help people and the second one was defeat all the monsters, but we de we defeated one of the big ones. And then the third thing she wanted to do was fight Sfar and have him recognize her strength. And we did that. And we did that. Well, Luca did that, and Sfar recognized his strength. And at the end. Of both the first and the second one, he let out that, like, like, slogan, which is the sl same slogan that Margie wrote. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I'm putting it together. I'm putting it together. And it's hurting me. Oh my god. But, um, I think I agree. Maybe one day we can talk about it with him. But let's give him some time. Think, let's yeah. go back to town for today. Good night, Margie. Damn. I don't think now would have been a good moment to talk to Luca about it anyway. Wherever there is business, <gasps> there is Dang. Oh, we completed it. And Luca can visit the express. <laughs> Death ending. Oh, that ending. That was painful, okay. Um, yay! <laughs> okay.
can't find jeans. Oh my god. <laughs> Was it worth it? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go here. But before we start it, <laughs> we're gonna do Shinu's trial. And we're gonna, we're gonna. No, we're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do some pulls. Business, we're gonna do some pulls. There is sampo. There is sampo. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I forgot what button it was. I'm actually gonna turn the music down. A tick. Just because it was didn't start. <laughs> That's why I didn't hear anything at first. Uh, I don't remember where to look. So the travel log? Yeah. Okay. Start trial. Let us see what she can do. Okay. So, gains a charge when attacking after accumulating a certain number of charges, enhances self, and advances forward the unit's action. Huh. When enhanced, consumes charge to use a powerful ability. Let us... Do, 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 do. Ability details? What's this? Ooh, okay. Uh, basic attack deals minor ice damage to a single ally. Skill deals ice damage to a target enemy and obtains one sec of that. <laughs> um, the ultimate deals massive ice damage to a target enemy and deals ice damage to adjacent targets and obtains one stack. Talent. When having two stacks, Jindu enters the spectral transmigrate transmigration state with her action advanced by 100%. Her crit rate increases and her skill becomes enhanced. Using an attack in this state consumes HP from all- Oh, shit. Wait, what? Consumes HP from all other allies and increases Jindu's attack according to the total HP consumed. When is it syzygy? <laughs> Stacks become zero, exit the spectral transmigration state. Okay, technique which impairs. Creates a dimension around the character. Enemies within this dimension will become frozen after entering combat. With enemies in the dimension, this character regenerates energy and obtains one stack of syzygy with a high chance to freeze enemies. Oh, okay, so it creates a field. Kind of like. Is it Himiko that does that? <laughs> Probably. So pretty. Whoa! Oh my god. Is that the moon? Oh my god, wait, that's so cool. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that either. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. The moon shines on the truth. <laughs> hit, hit. I didn't. I didn't. No. I didn't. Okay, I read all these. Well, we're in trouble now. Okay. 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 I forgot what you do, and I have you. What do you do? Support. Is it... Increases the attack? And grants with benediction? Ally with... Okay, deals additional... Addition, additional... Lightning damage when attacking. Dope. I'll do that. Evil's begun. Okay, I can't actually look at that yet. I 
forget what you do. What do you do? It gives energy. What do you do? It generates 50 energy for a single ally and increases the target's damage by 42% for two turns. Okay. Hmm. I read this and I totally forgot. An endless this. lifespan is just a bitter wait for insanity. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't have to hit you. Oh, I can actually. No, I'm gonna hit you. And I'm gonna do this. Because I can. A blade <laughs> of moonlight. Whoa, that was cool. I can only do this? Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, that was cool. <laughs> Naughty children, don't listen. And then... Um, I want to do this. Savor the vigor of life. Oh, no. Let's be friends, shall we? I can break that. Um, I'll do that. Chill out. Ouch. Blade fodder. Can't even do th that's kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah. It's the one that's the moon. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay. Hmm. What is this? I read it and I didn't retain anything. That's not. pretty um i didn't retain anything deals ice damage equal to 270 percent of julia's attack to a single enemy and deals ice damage equal to 135 to adjacent enemies okay nap time we'll do that all will be revealed I'm gonna do that flame. as well. Oh! A thousand wonders to raise your spirits. <laughs> gonna do you. Good omens. Fight us one. <laughs> Jokes on you. Customers are always welcome. All the best. Dope. Um, I'll do that. A blade of moonlight. We can get the it and then do this. Bam. No. Dope. Oh yeah. I want her. I want her so bad. Okay. I need. I need. I need. Mimi want. Okay. I think this is pretty. I'll stand under here. I came up from Sarskiff Haven just to see the Ambrosial Arbor. Okay. Collect. Sure. 
Sure, give me that. Whatever that is. Dom shoes tire. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do pulls. We're gonna pull. Cause that's what people like to see. Anyway, um, how much do I have? I have the one. So 18. We have 19. Oh. Okay. We have 19. 19 pulls. And I counted. <laughs> We're only at. We'll count again. Count again on stream. We'll do the count on stream. How about that? Alright. <laughs> Five. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. So, we take into consideration that we have 19 pulls. That brings us to I'm stupid. 30. Bring us a 30. That is well we where we will be at the end of it. So yeah. I mean 16 days. We could get we can get we can get to 90 in 16 days. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I need to <laughs> accomplish. We can get to 90 in 16 days. That's fine. But with what we have right now, let's just... Let's just pull. I mean, why not? What is stopping me? Literally nothing. It's fine. And I want this character. So I'm going to... Go up to 10. No, 9, because I have the one ticket. We're gonna go up to 9. And then we're gonna do 10, and then we're gonna do all the rest there. <laughs> or we can just exchange it all. We're just gonna exchange it all for tickets. Let's just do that. Bam. Oh my god. I have like, what, a hundred? Okay. Nineteen! <laughs> oh my god. Let's go! Ten pull, ten pull, ten pull, ten pull. I'm so scared! Okay. Nothing. It's nothing. We got nothing. But, but we got a four star. What's four star again? So now we're at 21. Okay. Dope. We'll just keep going. Um. Maybe you can like drop like a second. St okay, that's fine. That's fine. What is this? Increases where it's attacked by 16%. When the rare defeats an enemy, the worst crit rate, crit damage increases by 24 returns. Oh, that's not bad. That's kind of cool. Nope. Okay. Uh, we're at, oh man, we're at 16. Ah, ah. Okay. Here's our nine. <laughs> Or nine. Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yay! We have a night alone! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I ain't mad. That's what we wanted. We want Jing, Jing Liu and Sampo, and we got it. We got it. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Okay. 
that, that, okay. If you can give me one more Sampo, that would be wonderful. That would be amazing. But also, alternatively, you can just give me Jinmu, Jinmu right now. Just right now. I know that's not her, but it's not. Yeah, four! <laughs> four to get it. Okay. Lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least give me one more thing. Come on. Just one more thing. Just one, just one more thing. Just one more thing. <laughs> you gonna... Just... Just one more thing? Yeah? Yeah? Oh. Fine. I don't think I have... No, I don't. Oh! 20. I do have it. Oh my god. Give me that. So what that? It took us a 30? Taking us to 31. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. What are we getting? What are we getting? Oh, Don Ho! Okay. That, that's not bad, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's... Sit and load. Oh, that's what we're doing. Yay! Okay, so this is the... Yes, we get a plus two to our ultimate and a plus two to talent. Absolutely beautiful. And this one gives our wind shear damage, which is everything else. So we just need one more. One more. We have a done home. Which takes us to three. Ooh, okay. This is skill up by two, basic attack up by one. Which feels not bad. Take action again. Ooh. Give me an E4. I do still kind of use Don Hong. I really like Don Hong. If I ever need to use a hunt character, I always use this guy. But now I have him, so also he's just probably never leaves my team, ever. And we love that. But yes. yes! What does it look like now? Yes! Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Continue. I came up from Starsmith Haven just to... See, are these stairs? These are stairs. We continue. But it was 31 pulls, so you know. Why did why did I let's not give ourselves away and make sure Oh. Oh. Wait, we have to find Kafka first? Huh? Oh, man. Okay. This one. Ooh, get a hundred. <laughs> uh, head to Kafka's location. Optional, as Himiko and Walt's opinion. It's fine, we can just do this. Ah! Okay, whatever. TV. Hiding out at the Divination Commission? That's a bold decision. Oh, it's forced. Do 
have to fight any of these? I do. I don't want to though. So I'm just gonna sprint. We're fine. She should She's... be around here somewhere. Oh. She's right here. Blind. I knew you would come. I had no choice. Oh, Blade's here too. Oh wait, she did. She said Blade. Never mind. She said Blade was here. That's why we're here. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little stupid. If we had Elio's eyes, the world would not appear as it does to you and I. There are myriad possibilities overlapping one another, representing the consequences of different choices, and in every passing moment, an infinite number of choices converge on the same point and become the present, and then become the past. My brain hurts. So, was this <laughs> your choice? To respond to my request for help? Listen, I don't trust you, Kafka. <laughs> this is this is the problem. I haven't made my choice yet. Is that so? <laughs> so how can we get you to make up your mind? If you wanted to refuse, then why okay. would you be standing here right now? <laughs> because I have no choice? Yeah. Well, because I want to know what you need help with before I decide whether or not I'm going to help you. But none of these options give me that. So I'm just going to hit this one. Uh, I'm grateful. <laughs> On the Sienjo, you're the only one I can turn to. Being stricken with Mara is the inescapable destiny of the long life species. It is a madness triggered by the accumulation of emotions and memories. Blade doesn't remember much, but the Mara still haunts him in some form. After we arrived on the Sienjo, the Mara in him flared up so violently that even my spirit whisper couldn't suppress it. He's not fit for interstellar travel in this state. But shouldn't you get off plan is to entry? use Spirit Whisper to temporarily seal the Mara by reducing its potency. I need to focus all my concentration, so I'll be vulnerable for some time. I need you to protect me while I suppress Blade. <sighs> I know when danger will come and what form it will take. Don't worry. Together we can do this. No harm will come to you. Now... There are wandering monsters nearby. They'll spell trouble if we let them hang around. Go take care of them. Man, it's just like that Victor gray area of villain. I don't... It's like, it's so hard. It's one of my favorite things. Like, a bad guy slash villains. It's where, like, the heroes gotta help them. Kinda don't want to, but you're gonna have to. Should have changed character, but it's okay. Is I supposed to fight these? I don't You're know how it's supposed to. Fun. But we are now. Mm -hmm. Time for a buzz. <laughs> oh, no. That's Now's fine. my chance. 
I sense a storm. We're just having fun. Okay. Try this on for size. Can you let me have some fun this time? Actually, Lynx can go for that one. Ooh. Is it? That's gonna hurt. Oh, wait, wait. Can I get rid of that? Upon receiving a killing blow. It doesn't say unremovable. I've removed debuffs, right? You can do that, Lynx. Is it your skill or is it just your ultimate? Dispels debuffs. It's just the ultimate. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. It's fine though. Time for a buzz. To do that. <laughs> to travel far away. <laughs> for a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. <laughs> I know you one. Yay! Got rid of it. Beautiful. Okay. I wish Girl, I could use the strength. Oh. Um. Uh, that's fine. Haha. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, never mind. I forgot about that. More enemies. Excuse me, coming through. Nice. Okay. Next. <laughs> How are you gonna win if you don't take any risks? Oh, 100% I didn't realize it's all me. Pew, 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 pew. We're just having fun. <laughs> you took the bait just like that. Um, I feel like that's overdue, but what are you waiting for? I'll take more damage. The customer from. is king. And for me to portray from the king, the well, time, you gotta make so. it worth my while. Oh yeah, no, that's good. <laughs> Commencing research. I sense a storm. Nice. Yes. That one should die as well. Sounds like more business knocking. Well, it will now. <laughs> awesome. I didn't realize it was that kind. <laughs> die. Target specimen sighted. Excuse me, coming through. The times have changed beyond recognition. And I'm just gonna do that. Awesome. Nice. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Okay. Hey, the gang's all here. Anyway. Okay, we returned Coffin Blade title. Okay. That felt like a time. It's good to open my eyes and see you back here. Hmm. 
How's progress on your set? Not fast enough. I've weakened Blade's senses to the outside world so that he's only able to hear my voice and feel my touch. He's oblivious to everything else. Okay. I'm going to transfer his consciousness away from the Sienjo and cleanse his memories of Jing Yuan, Jing Liu, In Sing, and your friend, Don Hong. Again, this process mustn't be interrupted, but I can answer questions before I begin. My questions? Yes, as compensation for helping me. You don't have any questions? I put you into a deep sleep and then reawakened you. Abandoned you at the space station, then lured you to the Sienjo. I owe you an explanation or two. Don't you want to know? <sighs> the manipulation? Yeah. Well, don't rush. We still have time. Think about it first and ask when you're ready. One rule, though. Please don't ask anything boring. Let's play truth and lies. Truth and lies? It's a game I play with Silver Wolf all the time. Kinda psychological. Both sides ask each other two questions, then give one true answer and one false answer each. Damn. Okay. So one of my answers will be true, the other will be false. As for which is which, that's up to the asker to make the call. What the hell? We don't have okay. much time. Let's do two rounds to start. You ask me two questions, and you'll also have to answer two of mine. But remember, one truth, one lie. Anything about my past I can just make up, and I don't even know if it's a truth or a lie, honestly. And if... How do you know? How do I know you won't cheat? I give you my word. I will abide by the rule of one truth, one lie. I 100. I'll go first to give you a 50 one. billion percent don't trust you. <laughs> oh, don't but sure, nervous. this is fun. The first question is quite trivial. You can tell the truth or tell a lie. It's the second question where the game gets interesting. You won't My know. first question is, what do you think about me? Huh? What do I think about Kafka? How should I answer? If I tell the truth, I have to lie the next time and vice versa. Or I could just cheat. Is that really an option? <laughs> we'll do. We are too nervous. <laughs> She'll know. She will know. She'll know. She'll know if we cheat. Um. What do I think? I guess. I don't know. I guess we can tell the truth. I don't know what her second question's gonna be. <laughs> oh god. I feel like if we tell the truth, her second question's gonna be the dumbass question, and she'll know we told the truth on the first one. But that's fine. Uh, truth, I guess. Just because I, I wonder if we get to know the truth of what we think. Better to tell it like it is. <laughs> I think. Ooh, damn. Wait, I don't like any of these answers. <laughs> like you. I think you're pretty good. I don't care about you. I dislike you. I hate you. 
I think hate is a very strong word. It's not that it's a dislike. It's definitely not the top one. Pretty good. I don't know. It just sounds so harsh. <laughs> Cause this, it's not, it's like, but where's the in-between? I need the in-between of, I don't know, cause I can't trust you. <laughs> oh god, okay. Do you have an earring? What is that? Sorry, I got distracted. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for an hour, dude. Okay. <sighs> I think, oh my god, this is gonna... Honestly, leaning towards that one. But I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have strong feelings one way or the other. I don't. I very much do not dislike. Me. <laughs> me, Ozius. <laughs> is very much this one. However, as like gameplay wise, it, it's not these. Like, I feel like I need her to stop staring at me with a smile. That's what I need her to do. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll stare at Blade while I try to decide. Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. I don't have, I don't have strong feelings. Hmm. And there you have it. It's a pretty simple game, don't you think? That was not simple. <laughs> You're hiding your feelings well. Really? I don't think I am. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to put our game of truth and lies on pause. The Cloud Knights are here. I need you to help me get rid of them. But, but, huh? Um. Uh. Uh. How about I try persuading them to? That won't work. No matter how hard you try. Uh, you don't know that. This conflict is inevitable. Just save the zoom, but... destiny. Get in so much trouble. Try to optional. Try to change the future and persuade the Cloud Knights to leave. Can we do that? I'm gonna try anyway. The most persuasive man there is. Let's go. All right. Hey, you stop. We received an order to capture the wanted criminal. Put down your weapons and come with us. How should I respond? Report to Kafka. Oh no, report Kafka. Talk to the fist. Threaten the Cloud Knights. Lie to the Cloud Knights. Uh, be in so much trouble with the Cloud Knights. You can try to lie. They haven't crossed the threshold. They technically don't know. I'm gonna... Maybe you can lie to the Cloud Knights and distract them? The order was faked. You've been fooled. You're here too late. The criminal ran away. Wake up. The Garden of Recollection. <laughs> the Garden of Recollection is stealing your memories. You can't see me. You can't see me. <laughs> This is so stupid. I want to lie to you, but I really don't know how. <laughs> I 
I want to pick the last one. That's so stupid. Around that way. <sighs> this is stupid. These obviously won't work. I really doubt this is gonna work. <laughs> and I don't think that will work either. Also, they could have gotten direct orders, so that's kind of stupid. Um, 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 uh, let's go with this one. I mean, they know me, right? And if it all goes to shit, we just fight them. The criminal's right behind you. At least look around when you lie. Cough. Listen, there's a wall here, right? There's a wall. There's a wall. Which means... You know what? I don't think it's destiny. I think she just wanted to fight. <laughs> because what the heck? The lady, lady straight up poked her head out and said, no, they're lying. I'm here. It's like, what? I could have gotten away with it. I could have gotten away with it. But no. <laughs> you took the bait just like that. I'm glad I picked the I don't care option. <laughs> the frick. <laughs> Do that. I sense a storm. I don't even know what that is. Bop, bop. Awaken dormant scales. I'm gonna do that. Delve hidden moon, world cleansing dragon. <laughs> and then. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Break! <laughs> Yay. Boop. <laughs> And dead. <laughs> How are you gonna win if you don't take any risks? See, see, there was a little wall, and they were facing right here. They would not be able to see Kafka unless she straight up went right, right here. She had to be like right here <laughs> I'm, I'm mad at you i'm mad at you see the future always seems like infinite possibilities but what is I, destined I have to happen stood to will always happen this conflict is inevitable because the other possibilities don't exist <laughs> I need to use the spirit whisper on blade again. She made sure it didn't exist. Let's play another round I, first. I'm Have you thought of your question? Come to me when you're ready. I can wait. Sure. I thought of it. Give me a choice question? The game continues. Your turn. Awesome. All right. So, what I options do I get? Only one of which Kafka will answer truthfully. But I won't know which answer is which. Uh huh. What should I ask? Ask about Kafka, Blade. Oh, myself. Oh, shoot. Okay. This, oh. I mean, 
We don't have to ask about Blade. Because I feel like we can... <laughs> oh. No. Judging by all the people Blade knows that she had, we could probably ask some people. We can, we can piece together him through other people outside of Kafka. We don't have to ask Kafka. Could ask about... Oh, ow! Frick. So I was... That, I pinched myself on accident. I am very curious about myself. Myself is the one I want to hit for sure. It's only between those two. Let's, let's do this one. When I came to on the space station, I remember seeing Kafka, but everything before that is a blur. Shouldn't I ask about my past? Who am I? How am I able to host a Stellaron? What is my connection to you? Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't really need to know this. I mean, I'm curious, but I don't need to know it because we know who we are now and that's all that matters. Connection, I honestly, I don't really care. <laughs> We've answered that we kind of don't care, so it doesn't really matter. But this one, how I'm able to host a Stellaron, that's important because not even Himiko or Welt know. So, that's kind of the answer that we kind of want. The Stellaron in question was modified. After seizing it, Herta conducted a lot of research. It's the only Stellaron in the universe that doesn't contaminate humans. As soon as Herta got bored, she forgot about the whole thing. But all her research was recorded in Skrulam's database. Silverwolf retrieved it when she hacked into planet Skrulam. And so Elio saw a new future possibility. No matter what she says, she looks like she's got something up her sleeve. I can't tell what's true and what is it. I thought there was only one on your face. distinct future. Don't bother asking. I can't tell you if an answer is true or not. Make your best guess and choose your next question based on my answer. That's the beauty of the game. I hope your next question proves interesting. Can we ask about Blade? The rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities, but when you really analyze it, you could count them on your fingers. Every question and answer is constrained by previous choices. <laughs> the future is like a labyrinth. Every divergence is merely an inducement. There is only one real path. Okay, but you say that. But there was only one, like, future, right? Before finding that Stellaron, there was one future. But then they found it. And Ellie was like, oh, maybe... Maybe we can do something different, right? And that's what I'm getting through her explanation. So like, there's this continuity. It doesn't make sense. What's that supposed to mean? Is the future predetermined? Are you sure you don't follow the Aeon of Nihility? Eh. Hey. She is Nihility though, so I don't know. Kind of cool. Uh, da, 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 da. The hell is that supposed to mean? It's a metaphor. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Soon we will face another battle. Can you change that 
possibility? What if I just don't move? <laughs> Try to change the future and prevent the battle from happening. What if I just stand here? <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. Either. Prevent the battle from happening. So... Oh shit. Um... Oh, see? They only patrol- What if I just stand right here and we do absolutely nothing? Or we just blind them? Okay. That one's getting kind of close. I don't think I think I have to fight. We might have to fight. And that sucks. What the flip? Come here, stupid. Oh, we only have. We only have the one. Ah. Oh, I told you it's closer. Look it, I prevented it. Oh my god. Hmm. I'm playing a game instead. The server's still not open. Ugh. Never mind, we're not playing a game. Where's this stupid thing? 100% break! We're just having fun. <laughs> I'm gonna save my. Oh, you took the lead just fight. like that. <laughs> Target specimen sighted. Preparing for collection. <laughs> I wish not to use the strength. Try this on for size. No. Oh, darn it. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we'll do that. To travel far away. <laughs> for a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. Oh, try them all. <laughs> It is new. Okay. Yep, yeah, awesome. Um boop. I sense a storm. Sounds like more business knocking. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just so gonna take that one. Fine. Can you let me have some fun this time? Mm, boop. <laughs> Excuse me, coming through. The times have changed beyond recognition. Search. Okay. <laughs> Cloud bearing dragon. 
Surprise! Yay. Damage. Nice. Let's do it again when you're leveled up. Sure. So bad. Prevail in the following battles. Try to change the future and prevent the battle from happening. I stood. It's the wind. Yeah, it's the wind. It's not close enough. <laughs> I, I made it. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Chill out. Okay. Well, We're just having fun. Absolutely. Try this on for size. You took the bait just like that. Commencing research. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Break. Pew, 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 pew. <gasps> huh? More enemies. <laughs> You don't take any risks. I wonder if I could have used that thing now that I think about it. Um, well, oh well. Oh. What do you want from me? Well, you're doing a great job. <sighs> Are you doing yours? The future is still clear. The real test lies ahead. The young sword master of the Cloud Knights. He will not be an easy foe. Hmm? Until then, let's continue our game. It's my turn again. <laughs> Second question. Do you I want to see me answer. again? <sighs> what kind of question is what? that? Will we see each other again? She'd know the answer to that one. As for whether I'd want to, it seems obvious to me. No. Wait. Wait, huh? We have to lie on this one, right? So... This one. It doesn't say truth or lie. We have to lie on this one. So... I guess this one. Right? We, we have to lie on this one. Please, for the love of God, please. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It's not... Uh... I guess lie. Maybe I don't. Cause like I feel like we would want to see her again, but not like it. Pff, I don't know. Every time we see her, we have to, we have to fight her. <laughs> it's not exactly like ally to the express. Freaking... I don't know. <laughs> I personally love to see her again in the future. Uh, Person-wise, uh, sure, this one. I guess I do want to see her again. 
So Wait. my answer is eh. Frick. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I messed up. That's okay. Okay. I'm done asking. What a surprise. I can't see through you. <sighs> I feel like that could be a lie, too. Are you satisfied with my answers? Um, partly. For me, the truth, or lack thereof, is not what matters in this game. It's your turn to ask a question. What I'm sorry <laughs> when you're ready. Okay. Well, sure. Right, that's all ever be. This is your last question. Surprise me. Okay. I don't know if Kafka was telling the truth in the previous question, but one thing's certain. For this question, she'll have to answer according to the rules. Should I venture into a whole new topic? I can ask about Kafka, ask about Blade, ask about myself. Or we can venture into a whole new topic. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. We need to ask a question before we'll know if the first one was a truth or a lie. What would be the new topic though? Be like what she was doing here because we kind of know we don't really know <laughs> so we gotta know what we don't i kind of want to ask about blade revenge i want it oh it's one of these two Ask about Blade. He seems to know Don Hong. Yeah. I don't understand the connection between them. Maybe I can learn the truth from Kafka. Exactly. Okay. 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 Oh, frick. Um. Okay. Okay. I think. Maybe this one? Because she seems to know from that cutscene we saw. She seems to kind of know what's going on. So my thing is, can you use a little bit of metagaming knowledge to figure it out? Maybe that's what we can do. Okay. So the first one was, how can I have a stellar on? It's because Herda did experiments with this one. So it was the only stellar on that didn't hurt a human. And... Yeah. That's why it's in me. But I don't quite trust that answer, so I'm gonna do this one. Apparently, they used to be good friends. Well, good friends who were bad for each other. Blady forgot nearly everything, so he doesn't remember it well. <laughs> Together they did something bad. Something terrible. It led to horrific consequences. That's the information I managed to piece together. Blady um, refused to tell me- Okay, wait, but that's- I think that's true. 
I, from what, I think that's, oh shit. Okay, she lied to us the first time, I think. Stellaron hunters. The general was merciful enough to let you live. Because they didn't know each other. The slightest bit of gratitude. Right, they did. Why are you here? Sup, Yanchin? Because Yanchin? he was struck by my spirit whisper. My powers of suggestion are capable of convincing people to accept my orders, all without a second thought. Defeat this little boy and your mission is over. God, you witch! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry in advance. Oh, Grace. Oh, Jesus. Come get me. Oh, okay. How are we you doing that? Oh. Scales. I was like, if you're. Goddamn. Okay. Oh, frick. Um. Just this one? I'm just, I'm just gonna do that. Moon, world cleansing dragon. <laughs> oh, what are you waiting fun. for? The customer is king, and for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. The stronger, the better. Try this on for size. <laughs> More enemies. Okay. I'm fretting. I'm scared. <laughs> For a tough case like yours, we're gonna try them all. I think. Okay. Ah! Trying to think of things me. through. From what I know, I think she lied the first time. Heaven search. <laughs> but that's just my guess. I could be absolutely wrong, and I wouldn't be surprised if I am. Honestly. Punish evil. I'll be kind of sad, but I won't be surprised. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it's a little wild. Boop boop. <laughs> Commencing research. <laughs> I'll use one though. Really? Maybe not. You're all in on it. Ew. Out of moves. Uh oh. <laughs> Can you let me have some fun this time? What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Yeah. Ow. <clears throat> then I'll use one. Okay. Oh, Grace. Hopefully. Well, he is. He's taking more damage from Target that. specimen sighted. Preparing for collection. It's not a lot. Time for something safe. Still, I guess. Do not fret. That, but multiple times. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, so close. I sense a storm. Okay. Perfect. Now's my chance. Um. <laughs> We're gonna do this. This combat needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Okay. Do the 
this. Awaken Thorman Scales. Delve Hidden Moon. World Cleansing Dragon. We do this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Do this. <laughs> I failed. Yep. Okay. If it weren't for you, that kid would have had me and Blade in the shackling prison in no time. Don't. <laughs> Of course, Sam and Silver Wolf would have broken us out, but Blady would have been gravely injured, and our Sam. relationship with the Sea <laughs> Joe would have been damaged beyond Sam. repair. If possible, Sam. I'd like to avoid that kind of future at all costs. I don't know. Okay. Can I leave now? Yes, the Mara in you is temporarily suppressed. So long as you avoid overstimulation and familiar faces, you shouldn't have a problem. Wait. You're not leaving? I am sorry, Kafka. There is a person. A person to whom I am greatly indebted. I must see them. Then it's in your hands. Elio didn't say anything about what happens next. Thank you for coming to my aid. I appreciate it. Our paths will cross again. Mm. Mm. I, <laughs> the same I remember you. You're scaring me. But also, hi. <laughs> you once followed Kafka, didn't you? There was a time when she was on a mission. You were next to her. I remember. I've yet to see anyone follow her for as long as you did. And live to tell the tale. Was that earlier on the Zune show? We didn't follow her for a while. I think. Is that what he's talking about? I don't know. I don't remember anything. What exactly are you getting at? Hmm. Every Stellaron hunter has a deal with Elio. I do not know the nature of those deals, but I do know that Kafka and I agreed to take orders from Elio. She must have sought something extraordinary. Everything she does comes at a great cost. Hmm. She will have done many things to keep you alive until now. Young one. Damn. Okay. Oh. That is so confusing. <laughs> what is this? What we get in that? Hello? Wait, okay, in strategic training you can earn combat related knowledge and receive corresponding rewards. We're taking a detour. Okay. Teach us about- Oh. It's just a tutorial? Sure, you can get through this quickly. Okay, we'll go through these tutorial things. Mm -hmm. Okay, skill point. All team members. Consume. Oh, the objective. The enemy will only receive skill damage. Okay. That kind of sucks. Sure. Let's make it quick. 
Mm-hmm. Enemy targets detected. This that and <gasps> Okay. Okay, I should What about that. this? Uh, uh, that was not enough. I repeat, that was not enough. Ready for another? <laughs> I'm just gonna... <laughs> I've no interest in conflict. Let's make it quick. Okay. There we go. Yay, three. Do, do, do. Hey, simple costume. Do, 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 do. Wait, okay. Sam's a whole different person. I don't even know who that is. She said Elio. She said Elio. Just saying I'm out of nowhere. How many people? How many Stellaronauters are there? Okay. Energy's there. I'll only received multiple damage. Okay. Time to make a decision. Data secured. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Boink. Oh. <gasps> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Enemy data secured. Net markers activated. Time strong. for a good old oh, counter attack. Okay. The enemy will only see weakness break damage. Then Hong's wind attacks are wind type and can deplete enemy cells. Don't hesitate. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Yep. Told you I could fight. <sighs> Let's go. No interest in conflict. The yeah, truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I could fight. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Uh. 
Let's make it quick. Yay. I had to concentrate. <laughs> Hook. Self-proclaimed boss of the underworld. Adventure Squad the Moles. Okay. That's cool though. Use. Okay. Achievement. Free will. You chose to help Kakba. Wonder what happens if I didn't. Okay. Now we can go here. An hour. Almost two hours. Okay, let's we'll start. We'll do a little bit. Business. There is Sampo. Do a little bit. And then if we have enough, maybe. Double wish in it. Maybe we can do that. We can, we can, we can, we can double wish, right? We have, we have enough for one. To like, to end it off, right? We have enough for two. Oh, we can end it off with two. Okay. That's pretty dope. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but that's okay. What is your purpose for entering the seat of divine foresight? Okay, sometime later you arrive. See if I'm forced to challenge you in. Can you wait a little moment? The Master Diviner will be here soon. She's temporarily taken off hey, the general's responsibility. Hey, don't hug, don't hug. Okay, cool. You, she must make the current situation known and fortify public spirit. This is her first real test as a general. I hope she can get used to things quickly. I don't think I can ever get used to this. It's a pleasure to see you all here today. Collating casualties and losses. Dispatching forces to round up the remnants of the disciples. Submitting battle reports to the six charioteers. Now I know what Jing Yuan meant when he said, The highest throne faces the strongest winds. Uh, but you're. No, that's kind of stupid. <laughs> No, but you're enjoying yourself, right? Generalship is no trifling matter. How could I be enjoying myself? All I can do is get used to it. <laughs> Make the most out of your situation. Oh, I think you know? she's enjoying herself. <laughs> Master Diviner, have you summoned us here just to sigh and complain? Of course not. <laughs> On the contrary, Keep it real well. I am eager to thank you all in my official capacity as acting general of the Law Fu. Now mm. that things have drawn to a conclusion, it is time to reward you. Ooh, all those benefits that the general promised! They're finally here! Yippee! Calm down, March. Yes. The Astral Express has braved great evil for the Law Fu. Your devotion is evident. After discussions with the Six Charioteers, you are henceforth sworn allies of the Lafu. 
within the Lalfu's jurisdiction. You are to be treated with the highest standard of diplomatic protocol. On behalf of the Astral Express, I would like to thank you, Master Diviner. Oh, wow. Nothing tangible, then? <laughs> uh, but at least it sounds pretty cool. Now that things have been expressed, I, look so I still have something to discuss with you. Please, this way. Okay. Oh, okay. Where are we going? Uh, seriously? Thanking us like that and then immediately sending us on another mission? It's not a mission. The Stellaron Crisis, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus Rebellion, the Arbor's Resurrection, not to mention the Antimatter Legion infiltrating the Lafu. All of these incidents need reporting at the highest level for investigation. It's just that, having been in the middle of everything, I'm struggling to keep an accurate perspective. I would appreciate if you could go through it all with me, so that I can reacquaint myself with a finer detail. So, where should we begin? <laughs> Don't look at me. Um, that's just down the line. It appears that Fantilia was the mastermind behind it all. The Sienjo warred with the Antimatter Legion in the past, and ever since we have kept a watchful eye on their movements. Okay. Few could have foreseen the insidious tactics employed in the execution of their assaults. The Lord Ravager slithered in unnoticed, clandestinely plotting and machinating, and surreptitiously bestowed a Stellaron upon the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. This heinous act instigated an uprising aimed at luring the Lafu into a perilous trap of self-destruction. The present danger posed by the Legion clearly demands a re-evaluation. We should proceed cautiously. Okay. Let's talk about Sanctus Medicus. The Ambrosial Arbor was severed by the Rainbow <sighs> Arbor thousands of years ago. The abundance became a taboo. Those within the Alchemy Commission, the original masters of the so-called Way of Immortality, were ruined at a stroke. The Commission became a shadow of its former self. Presumably, from that moment on, the seeds of discord for the disciples of Sanctus Medicus had already been planted. Some of them were willing to work with the enemy, acquiring a Stellaron from the Antimatter Legion to try and revive the Abundance. Hmm. They succeeded, <gasps> right? Oh, God, show me this. The Rabbit objective to be to realize their wishes. Those traitors gained nothing. They betrayed the Sienjo only to become sacrificial offerings in the Lord Ravager's grand scheme. Let's discuss the Stellar on Hunters. Stellar Hunters. We know just as little. Oh, but in the oh, Matrix of Prescience, I saw a prophecy that Kafka received from Destiny's Slave. Oh. Elio foresaw all manner of possibilities for the Lawfu. Based on what Kafka knows, and despite everything being under the control of Elio, that prophecy is indeed the most beneficial future for the Lawfu. The Stellaron Hunters walked right into our trap, and even gifted allies, in the form of yourselves, to the Sien Zhou. That might sound self-interested, but I hope the feeling is mutual. Now that the future has come true, the Sien Zhou has discovered the Legion's intentions, and with everyone's help, has imposed a crushing defeat on Fantilia. What do the Stellaron Hunters want? God, what are they gaining with this? That we may. But as logical That's as like the things big might question. Seem, there are still many details about which we're uncertain. For example, 
How was the Stellaron brought onto the CNJO? And who sent it onto Scale Gorge Waterscape? How many disciples of Sanctus Medicus still remain at large? All of this is a mystery. Thus far, we've done our best. I'm submitting my report to the Alliance, and I've already got a plan in mind. All of you will feature in the report. But for the sake of Jin Yuan, anything related to Sien Zhou internal affairs will have names redacted. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, yeah, I was about to make fine. the same request, Master Diviner. Since the Arbor's resurrection, I'm sure the Alliance will be poring over every detail of the report. I fear that if the Astral Express gets dragged into matters, leaving will not be an easy task. Jing mm. Yuan has committed quite a few violations this time around, and I'll have to deal with them one by one. <sighs> Cloud Knight generals are all such a hassle. <laughs> Before you leave, please make time to recuperate. If there's anywhere you'd like to visit, feel free to take a look. I must attend to some cloud night matters. Ooh. Farewell for now. Sightseeing. Oh, if you pass through Starskiff Haven, I have something that I hope you can give to Yukon. Something, Miss Tinyu. <laughs> it was all so chaotic. When Fantilia took Florin, it was as if Ting Yun vanished into thin air. The Cloud Knights were only able to find her fan. She took it with her everywhere. It's currently unclear if Ting Yun was a puppet manipulated by Fantilia, or if some form of deception was used to cloud her vision. I'm already prepared for the worst. Considering how the Legion operates, I fear the fate of the Skyfaring Commission Amic Hassider may be a bleak one. As for how matters are handled with regards to I still don't know if we you, ever met the real thing. I believe it's best left to her fox and Ken. I have informed the Skyfaring Commission of the events which took place. And I think it would be best if you were the one to deliver this item to Yu Kong. I understand. Leave it with us. All right. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Now, let me take a look at my remaining duties for the day. <sighs> it's quite the list. It's getting late. If you need me, I'll be in the Divination Commission Conclave Hall. Okay. Head to the Palace of Ostrom and give Yukong the item that has been entrusted to you. Optional. Plan for the future after... Discussions. Companions. <gasps> Let's talk to everyone. Okay, well, Welp is in front of me, so we'll talk to Welp first. Things have come to a close for now. It's good that you came through unscathed. I don't... Unscathed is a very... It's a very strong word. Kind of throw looking out for me, Mr. The Master Yang. Diviner asked us to pass on this item of Ting Yun's. I'll go to the Palace of Astrum and meet with you, Kong. If neither of you has anything urgent, it'd be best if you came too. That's my plan. Who else is here? Mark is over here! Oh, Dong Hong's over there. Okay, do that last. Since he's the furthest. Oh, well, we had a lot of stumbles along the way. But we still managed to kick butt and save the little foo without breaking a sweat. Feels kind of surreal. Maybe this was all fake. You don't sound very happy. It may seem like the Stellaron Hunters are controlling everything, but we create our own future. No matter how powerful they are, they can't make a future that doesn't exist come true. <laughs> Since showing up, we've saved a lot of people and averted disaster for the whole Sian show. Who cares whether someone or something was directing it? Be happy. I want your optimism, March. What are your plans for me? Actually, I was wondering if Diviner Fu could do me a favor. Ooh, it's about your past. The Matrix of Prescience has amazing powers. 
and can iterate and reiterate Kafka's past. <gasps> I know. So it got me thinking. If I turned the matrix on me, could it calculate my past? Ooh. Pretty smart. <laughs> yep. When you're free, let's head over to the Divination Commission together and ask them for a favor. Okay. I, I want to know. That's curious. <gasps> could we turn it on me too? Because we also have that. Like, what, 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 can we do that? Is that possible? Hey, Don Hong. Hello. Hi, boy. Returning to the Lofu and Scale Gorge waterscape. <sighs> it's a surreal feeling. I left so determined. <laughs> Who would have thought that circumstances would draw me back once more? How long do you plan on staying I'll here? I'll be gone very soon. Jing Yuan is still recovering, and the Cloud Knights won't protect me anymore. It remains to be seen how the Six Charioteers will react to my presence. But at least for now, I'm safe. What are you gonna do next? I want to meet the current High Elder of the Vidyatara. It seems I won't be able to cast off Don Feng's negative karma. So, I'd like to learn more about his past. I want to find out what I can do to make up for his sins. If you're planning on an extended stay on the Lofu, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. I'm sorry. Okay. It's actually actually gonna be sad. What is this? Frosty Blades Trial? Mm. I hope the ditting that seems well, well, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Companion mission. Let me finish this main stuff though. Wherever there is business, there, there is sample. sample. Okay. What's this? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do I have? Oh, I saw to do that. It was a... fucking... It was a thing. I don't remember what that thing was, though. And the thing that shows the companion missions, I don't know where it is. I'm going to look. Is it this one? I think it's this one. Is it this one? Companion missions. It's not this one. <laughs> what is it? I spend. Oh, is it in here? There's this one. But I... S okay. Oh my god, I think... So you can't... Okay. I think that's also... Where are they? Wait. Oh no. That's not it. I think they were there. That was the last time I saw him. Did you need a dead pink? It is not in the data pink. 
Oh well. Okay. Yay. I see. Please extend my regards to the ten lords. I hear you too. I will. Our condolences, Hellmaster. You have guests. I shall take my leave. <clears throat> On behalf of the Skyfaring Commission, I'm pretty sure I would like to thank the crew of there's the a companion Express mission with Dunhall, right? The there's a March one. From the there's a Dunhall crisis. I remember seeing it. I remember seeing it. Sweet. It's fine. Madam Yukong must have heard about Miss Tingyun. I just don't know where I saw it. It's yes, fine. I have heard. Seeing four leave, but yet only three return, okay. was enough for me to know that Fu Xuan's report was indeed correct. I'm just get straight to the point. Ting Yun. I still can't believe it. The whole report reads like a bad joke. It's simply unimaginable. The Antimatter Legion on the Xianzhou? And Ting Yun? A Lord Ravager? How could someone who spent over 30 years working alongside me at the Skyfaring Commission turn out to be nothing more than a monster in disguise? What happened to the real Ting Yun? Madam Yukong. I'm sorry. I understand. It's just hard for me to accept. <sighs> Thank you for bringing Ting Yun's belongings back to the Palace of Astrum. The Stellaron crisis has cost us too many comrades, brothers, sisters, children. I'd like to invite all of you, as witnesses to this war, to a soul-soothing ceremony hosted by the Skyfaring Commission. Will you consider? Hmm, I'll consider. A soul-soothing kind of, ceremony? It sounds kind of interesting. To put it into short life terms, the funeral. You see, for long-life species of the Xianzhou, death has always been a distant, mystical concept. Ordinarily, the Ten Lords Commission guides people to the Hall of Karma before any symptoms of Mara are detected. There, they leave behind their lives and wait for their time to come. People are used to a short farewell as opposed to a tedious burial process. Mm. Given our limited lifespans, the only ones who place value on ceremony are us Foxians. Countless Cloud Knights lost their lives or became Mara-struck during the crisis. The Hall of Karma couldn't take them all in, and so they passed away. All of these sudden deaths and unfulfilled wishes remind us that long-life species still live out insignificant and limited lives. <laughs> By combining Skyfaring Commission technology with Foxian ceremony, we honor those who have passed on. We place items of the dead onto star skiffs and send them out to sail between the stars to shine brightly among them. Aww. It's not just to comfort the dead, those souls who can never talk with us again, but also to comfort their surviving relatives, close friends, and indeed all residents of the Xianzhou. It's also my way of saying farewell to Ting Yun. I know. I'm selfish. She may not have died a cloud night, but she's still one of us here at the Skyfaring Commission. A victim caught up in a wider conflict. Oh, please tell me we're like going. We have to go. As a way of distancing the memory of Ting Yun from the Lord Ravager who tarnished her identity. I can still hardly believe it. I'll use my own methods to locate Ting Yun's whereabouts. 
But at present, I... <laughs> this is the least I can do for her. I'd like to ask you all to witness this event with me. Uh, yes. Yes. <sighs> we'll be there at the ceremony. I've instructed Yen Ming to sort through Ting Yun's belongings. I hope you can pick some out to place around the star scaff. Leave this to us. Mm -hmm. We'll take care of it as per your wishes, Madam Yukon. Once again, my thanks to all of you. I've asked the judges of the Ten Lords Commission to ratify this soul-soothing ceremony, and have commissioned a special skiff at Stargazer Novalia for the ceremony. If you need anything, that's where I'll be. Okay. Sort the routines things. She actually gone. Like she actually died. She actually did. You always did say that I like to gossip. And here I am rambling on, proving you right again. If only you were here to cut me off. <laughs> That's so weird. Stanley. Oh. It's you. For a moment, I thought she'd return. <laughs> Did the Helm Master send you over? We're here to help sort out Miss Ting Yun's things. Madam Yu Kong wants to use some of them for her soul soothing ceremony. Well, I've managed to get through pretty much everything. It's all in this box. Please take your time. Okay, let's see what there is. All right. An Ami Cassiter seal, a small box, a knife, a bow, and something wrapped up tight. I wonder what this is. Looks like some kind of Aww. antique. But who'd want to hold on to something like this? Oh. Ting Yun explained that one to me. It's a folk statuette from Foxy in antiquity. They say it can bring wealth if placed correctly. There's also a note in the package. This is for you, Mr. Yen Ming. Wishing you fortune and success in every endeavor. Yen Ming, it seems like this is a gift for you from Miss Ting Yun. I remember asking her for one at the time. <laughs> this is unexpected. I I only mentioned it in passing, but she remembered. Oh, no. Ting Yun and I were from different <laughs> guilds. We were competitors, but also colleagues. When we used to trade in other lands, we would bring back local specialties and distribute them among friends and other guild members. It became a custom. The rivalry between us and the Whistling Flames to be the Skyfaring Commission's <laughs> top guild was always fierce. We would gift each other all kinds of bizarre oddities. Candy that made your leg hair grow. A violin that could shatter glass with its <laughs> piercing shriek. Oh, I was completely unprepared for this. I never thought Ting Yun would leave something behind for me that was so sincere and earnest. If I don't return a gift, I'll lose our little duel. But what could I possibly gift her back? Huh. Besides the seal, the knife, and the bow, none of this seems like something Miss Ting Yun would have kept. I thought she was more about jewelry and beauty. Could there be other things similar to what Yan Ming got? We should take a look. Uh um, um, let's take a look in the box. There's nothing else except a handful of seeds. 
It looks like there's something printed on the bottom of the box. The Sleepless Earl. Let me think. Where have I seen that name before? Nice. I can't cook to save my life. But one thing I'm sure of is, that's a kitchen knife. I've never seen Miss Ting Yun use anything like that to defend herself. It must be another gift that she never had time to send. There's an ad in the knife case. Spices Supreme. A room alley? Which store is that again? These are all gifts. I wonder if the actual Tin got this. They got so they so Tin Yun was here and at some point got switched. So it wasn't wasn't always Fantilia, right? It wasn't always Fantilia. For my own mental health, <laughs> Tin Yun was not always Fantilia. Let's take a look at the bow. Bow. It's a good bow. Oh. It couldn't be meant for me, could it? That's what they meant by bow. <laughs> I'm sure you weren't the only archer she knew. All right, just kidding. I'm just trying to liven things up around here. Okay, here you go. Do you know where we're supposed to take these things? Nope. <laughs> But this thing in the little corner will tell me. Right at Arium Alley. No. Oh. Gift gift. To okay, I don't know where that is. I've never attended a memorial, and I don't know what I should do here. Is that it? I'm just going to teleport. So it's right there. It's just right there. Okay, is this where I need to go? Okay. The Sleepless Earl. Was that the name of that tea house at the port when we first got into town? <laughs> That's weird. This is pretty. I like all the flowers. To the sleepless earl i'm the owner here the name's ming ming how many of you are there which tea would you like today uh we're here on gift giving errands for miss ting oh this is this is the tea miss ting yun promised to get for me she really went to another world for me she's incredible uh -huh. when i took over this tea house from my parents i thought i'd shake things up by creating a new tea product Famous brews like Whale Tide Spring or Vegetations in the Alchemy Cauldron have been around for millennia, and imported mixed teas have also found a niche. Introducing a new product into the industry is really hard. Miss Ting Yun came to the tea house one day and heard about my troubles. She said she could find me a brand new strain during her travels, one that nobody on the CNJO had ever tasted. I just thought she was trying to cheer me up. I never thought she'd actually do it. Where is Miss Ting Yun today? Uh, uh, um. <laughs> well, Men Ming, Men Min. I already forgot how to say her name. I'm so sorry. Yes. Now that the crisis has been averted and the ports are resuming operations, Miss Ting Yun has been 
dispatched on business with the Thank Skyfaring you, Commission. Thank you. Out to other worlds. Oh, really? Hmm, well, that's a shame. Well, hold on a sec. A few moments later, Mimic serves tea, Shrew. Based on her suggestion, I improved the Whale Tide Spring, Emerald Hills, and Dawn Dew strains to make a new variety with a sweet, long-lasting taste. I called it oh my King God. Yoon's Blend. Oh my Seeing God. as she can't enjoy it right now, I'll have to invite all of you to try a cup. Okay, gladly. New tea, Team Yoon's Blend. Okay. What the heck is our um, alley? Thing. Um. Wherever there is business, there is Sampo. There is a sample. <laughs> there is a sample and I'm crying. Okay, when do I got talk not to you, I guess. The Lapu is famous oh, for you? its mung bean soda. You've gotta give it a try. I hear something. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> no cash. There was cash in there. I saw it. Okay, I have to give it to you. Did you take some time off? See any more of the sand joke? Have you heard of Spice of Supreme? Is that the place on Aurum Alley over an exalting sanctum? All the foodies go there. What about it? Planning on treating me to a feast? No. It's the main commercial street in the exalting sanctum. Although it's a lot quieter since the whole Stellaron crisis thing. Tourists fresh off the Starskiff always head to Starwatcher Avenue in Starskiff Haven. It's one of those bustling tourist streets. But if you want the real deal on local snacks, you've got to get to Aram Alley. I've marked it out for you on your map. Thank you. Whenever I'm tired of Celestial Jade or slacking off, I head over for a bowl of Granny Chen's tofu. Sorry, I know that you brought it up. I certainly don't feel like talking about it. Okay. Or it's this way. Arm Alley. High Cloud Quintet. Ooh. It's a whole actual area. This place is cool. Empty. Uh, spice is supreme. Check out that sign. Here it is. Nice. I like the music Honored here. Guest. Welcome to our <laughs> humble eatery. What can we get for you today? Oh, something from Miss Tingyun for me? Oh, oh, what a precious person she is. Ugh, a sweet thing like her, gifting me a kitchen knife. When she first ate here, I told her my motto, you can't better your own food unless you taste it. <laughs> then she got me to talk about my hunting and cooking experiences out on other worlds. She was captivated. She pestered me about dish after dish. At the end, she mentioned she wanted to get me a gift, a sword for a hero and a knife for a chef. <laughs> That's how she put it. She probably came across some rare mineral and forged it by hand. Ah, look how sharp it is. I bet it cut straight through a Thalassa titanium terrapin shell. I don't know what that is, but <sighs> sure. Miss Tingyun is too kind. Who among the Aram Alley vendors hasn't been spoiled by the generosity of whistling flames? Her grand fair puts small merchants like us in touch with big intergalactic vendors. If we're talking gifts, it's us who should be gifting her something. Oh, I heard the trade port is open again for business. 
Miss Tingyun must be real busy, right? Yeah. Busy. Miss Tingyun couldn't tear herself away from work. So we've had to gift this on her behalf today. March 7th flying? Thank you oh so my much. god. Why don't I give you all a demonstration and prepare a dish? My treat. I'd love to repay this kindness. Oh, speaking of which, it was our chili beef awful stew that first attracted Miss Tingyun to our restaurant. <laughs> awful. Spicy, sumptuous, and guaranteed to get the mouth watering. Not even a girl as refined as Ting Yun could resist the temptation. <laughs> About that bow, I think I know who Miss Ting Yun intended to gift it to. Mr. Yan Ming said an Ami Cassiter will return with a gift for a trusted colleague. The person who Ting Yun trusts the most is Madame Yukong, right? Oh, no. The bow is for you, God. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm actually crying. Okay. Oh. I might actually cry during this. I say like I haven't already cried a few times. We went through all the sad stuff this stream. We really did. <laughs> um, hold on, you Kong. <laughs> okay. I was like, where are my buttons? Where are my buttons? Why is it Q and what? Okay. What do I? Okay. That's... oh sh... Okay. Hold on. <gasps> I'm a f fucking smart. Actually, also disappointed too, Sampo. <laughs> okay. What brings you here? Oh, oh. I had to pass on a gift from this team. For me she understood my pain it's a shame i can no longer do anything for her 30 years ago i fought in a terrible war my comrade and i set sail together but only i returned the scars of that war never truly healed still the law food traced out its arc of recovery and continued to trade I felt tired of voyaging, like I'd lost the courage to pull on a bowstring ever again. I hid away in the Skyfaring Commission and buried myself in work, never wanting to see the sky again. Despite rising to Helm Master, my military career hadn't prepared me for the type of meticulous planning work now confronting me. Ting Yun, on the other hand, was a born merchant, always discussing business matters with me and offering up advice, even if she was my subordinate. She never fought alongside me on the battlefield, but in her own way, she became a comrade in arms. Without the help of Ting Yun and the guild, the Law Fu would not have been able to recover in the space of just 30 short years. I used to think that the Xianzhou had changed with the times. 
Geniuses like Ting Yun were the future for the Skyfaring Commission's next generation. They would bring prosperity to the lawful. I was only ever suited to the flames of war. I was wrong. Only when the last minions of the Antimatter Legion are wiped out will I become useless to the Xianzhou. The Xianzhou needs people like me. Those willing to cruise the sky and fight the flames. The Star Skiff is ready for the ceremony now. Everyone, please place your objects aboard the Star Skiff. Wait! Wait for me! Hey, what's up, my guy? Miss Ting Yun prepared a gift for me. As a fellow Amakasador, I cannot fail to honor our custom. <laughs> Yan Ming, what is it that you've prepared? I... I've brought a paper kite. I know it may seem simple compared to the precious items that Ting Yun gifted others in the past, but it has a deeper meaning. Oh my god. I heard that Foxians have a tradition where paper kites are used to comfort the souls of pilots who can no longer take to the skies. Ting Yun and I were never pilots in the strictest sense of the word, but we spent much of our lives out among the stars. For her to be able to take wing once again would make her very happy. <laughs> okay. What do you think we should place on the star skiff? This one for sure. This time we needn't compete. Go. Fly on to other distant worlds. Can I place multiple things? The tea named after her. This is the tea that Meng Ming has made, especially named after you. Our favorite dish. This is a gift from Miss Yensue on behalf of all the restaurants on Arum Alley. You're going to love this. <laughs> oh, the Thank you soon. for everything you've done for the Skyfaring Commission and the Law Fu. This small seal is the foundation of the Xianzhou's prosperity. The Skyfaring Commission shall never forget you, Ting Yun. I will seek out the truth. And if it is discovered that you were taken from us, I swear to avenge your unjust end. It is time for the soul-soothing ceremony. Please make your way to Earthrise Agora in Starskiff Haven. Okay. We will figure out what happened to Ting Yu. Well, at least I hope we do. At least I hope we do. Wherever there is business, there is Sampo. Okay. Oh my god. No, my thing's cutting out again. It's okay. Hey, Don Hong's here. Oh, everybody's here.
General, the ceremony is finished. You should take a rest. <laughs> Not yet. I have things I wish to convey to my Astro friends. Okay. My apologies, I couldn't get to you any sooner. Yen Ching made sure that I was fully recuperated. Before you leave the Law Fu, there are two things I wish to gift the Express. Uh, two gifts? Has his conscience finally gotten the better of him? Is he going to make up for all our hard work along the way? You're too kind, General. Please, let us reconvene at the seat of divine foresight. Okay. Let me cry. I once held the same ceremony on the Fong Ho, some 30 years or so ago now. Painful memories don't ever fade away with time. I don't want to bear witness to those scenes again. Once I finished handling the various tasks at hand, I want to aid the Cloud Knights in their investigation. I'll fly out on a star skiff. And trace Ting Yun's original flight path onto the Xianzhou. Rest assured, I will leave no stone unturned. Yeah, she didn't just. She arrived. So I right. also hold funerals. She wasn't here in the beginning. She arrived. Oh, they have to us. Shortly before us, I think. I'm trying to remember. I don't remember that well, but. Oh well. Wherever there is business, there is Sampo. Okay. Good quality, good price, hassle free chartering. High end barge, the best choice for galactic commerce. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, back here. What is your purpose for entering the seat of? What is your purpose? I just want to go inside. Okay, come inside. Hey, we're all here. Present company is gathered to reiterate the Sienjo La Fu's esteemed gratitude for the magnanimous actions of the Nameless. I am sure Lady Fu has given voice to this already, but the Law Fu is greatly indebted to you. Therefore, on behalf of the Law Fu Cloud Knights, I hereby present you with a Jade Abacus, a Ooh. symbol of our allied friendship. Cool. A Jade Abacus? Back when the Alliance was first established, all those thousands of years ago, the Sienjo ships swore an oath, etching the record into a jade abacus. The world may crumble, and the heavens may fall, but this oath shall never be broken. The same is true of this jade abacus. It is a record of the Law Fu Cloud Knight's promise to the crew of the Astral Express. It is also a beacon. Grip it tightly, and it will send a message to the Jade Abacus here, in my hand. No matter how astronomically distant you are, the Law Fu Cloud Knights will always come to the aid of the crew, whatever your need may be. Wow, now that's what I call you a chaos. You can't see it, but I'm smiling so wide right now. Of course. <laughs> I trust that such an important article will not be used for trivial or inappropriate circumstances. I hope you can understand. Sure, obviously. Right. Yep, got it. So no more. <laughs> sure thing. Thank you for your generosity, General. Why did they have to look at me and march with the heck? General. Oh, listening. In accordance with the Edict of the Ten Lords Commission, I am hereby authorized to relieve your banishment decree. 
From this day henceforth, you may come and go freely on the Lawfu. Oh. Nice. Nice. But I must remind you that the crimes of Don Fong have had far-reaching implications. And some people, such as those in Scale Gorge Waterscape, will not be much moved by the issuance of a paper edict. While I can guarantee your freedom to come and go as you please, I cannot guarantee your safety. Again, I hope you can understand. I understand. This issuing of gifts brings with it a sense of relief. Mm, he has all of us. He's fun. feeling much improved. The occasion calls for a line or two of poetry. I will literally be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little of Lady Fu. Another time, perhaps. The Express and its passengers have a long voyage ahead of them. May that voyage be smooth and untrammeled. I bid you farewell. Yay! We have a Jade Abacus. Okay. Before you return to the Express, bid farewell to the people on To the people you got to know on the Jansu. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, we're just you and disappeared. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Talk to Well since it's above Well's head. It's so Himiko exciting. messaged me. The Express detected the Jade Gates reopening. She asked whether we'd be heading back anytime soon. She was also asking after you, Don Hung. I think it'd be best if you update her in person, don't you think? She must have been worried. I'll return to the train and put her mind at rest. Himeko must be eager to hear about what we've been up to on this mission too, right? Uh, hang on. Oh, how could I forget? We should bring something back for the conductor. Have you got any unfinished business on the Sianjo? Okay, I guess I can say goodbye. Oh yeah, there are some people we haven't said goodbye to yet. Fine, fine. Don Hung and I will go back to the Express. The two of you come back soon, okay? We will be right there. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Yang. Let's go, March. Besties trip. Okay. Um, who can we say goodbye to? Talk to you, Kong. Yanqing is inside, so we can say goodbye. Um, bye, Lu. So look for people. Everybody out there. Okay. Where is people anyway? Um, anybody up here? Oh, ah, I found. I don't believe in ghosts. Okay. I'm guessing seeing you here probably means that your affairs on the Sanjo are mostly complete. Even the that it? I thought you were gonna stay for at least a little longer. Did Welt learn how to play Celestial Jade in the end? If he hasn't got the hang of it yet, tell him to come see me, and I'll show him the ropes. Oh, I haven't asked you yet. Are you interested in learning yourself? It's easy to learn. <laughs> I thought so. Come back when you have time. I'll teach you. We're in agreement then. You can come back anytime and I'll teach you how to play. Oh, okay. Who did that? 
your extractor cleaned or your star skip serviced, <laughs> look no further. Mm -hmm. You'd be a tool to miss a tile in the pool. Oh yeah, should we get something possible? Oh, we got a thing on Jade app. This is okay, dope. <laughs> is anybody down here? Where would Bailu be? I thought somebody we can say goodbye to. By the realm keeping commission if you need help. Oh, what's this? Ugh. No cash. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's right here. Okay. Hello. Hello. To start your next journey. to escape the commission again uh, oh make sure you come visit next time you're here we'll put my plan into action yep i don't know what that plan is but yep all figured out we sneak out head over to arm alley and pick out on the snacks there <laughs> i 100 percent agree with this plan we better start planning that escape mm -hmm. route then it's a deal nice don't forget to come see me if you get any headaches, fever, tendon pain, joint pain, uh, anything. My treatment is on the house. <gasps> on the house? Dope. Okay. Um, who else is there to see? I have to look at the I don't know like hold on that's not the right menu I clicked the wrong menu I'm in the wrong menu still um do 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 data bank who can we see who can we see Um, oh, Shushong. Is you calm? Fushuan, if we can find her. Laocha. Where would they be? Oh, it's saying my map. I don't think it does. Um, probably the Venetian Commission, though, right? <laughs> this is probably fine. <laughs> I don't know where I'm being, so I'm fine. Okay, return to the express and we'll put it back to the go. We can do that. <laughs> cut it. Oh, cut it short. We can do that. I found a few people there. There's a dreamlike quality to watching these star skiffs depart through the Jade Gate. How long will these ships sail? And which stars are they traveling to? From a universal perspective, there is little difference between the lives of long and short life species. The transcendence that the Sienjo pursues is nothing compared to the enduring majesty of the stars. And the grief felt here is no different from our own. Hey, yo. Didn't know you were a poet, Mr. Yang. Oh, yeah, you're back. 
Himiko and I were just discussing our journey. This little excursion has reached its conclusion. All things must come to an end. Still, some endings spark a new beginning. Next time, I think I should be the one trailblazing with you guys. Well, we can stay on the express. That's exciting. <laughs> Since when did the work roster just change like that? So we can warp jump as planned this time? <laughs> Yes, no more Stellaron Hunter interruptions. It's time to get our original plan back on track. Our next stop is Penacony, remember? Penacony. Ooh. Okay. Um. Um. I think I need a reminder. I don't remember what that is. The Express's records show that Penacony was a prison planet used by the IPC to exile criminals. At least, it was at the time of recording. Hmm. However, following a Stellaron burst, the planet fell into the arms of Shipe. They say it's been transformed into a prosperous and ethereal realm. Ooh. The family is throwing a banquet there, and they sent invitations out to the Express. Who's I was the curious family? about the state of the planet, so I accepted. When the conductor is ready, we can set off for the next stop. Ooh, this is exciting. Pentaconi. Meanwhile, in the shackling prison. <gasps> <clears throat> All who enter here are either jailers or prisoners. Which are you? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Neither. I'm merely a lost traveler. <gasps> what a spectacle. The Stellaron, the Ambrosial Arbor, the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, the Lord Ravager. A series of threats that almost succeeded in diverting attention away from the crucial question. They who brought the Stellaron onto the Siendro, what was their motive? <laughs> Will you surrender, or do you require encouragement? Abomination of Yausher. General. My power does indeed stem from the abundance. But I'm the same as you. We are both enemies of Yashur. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. <gasps> oh my god! Our way. The revival of the Arbor is an omen. It's time for the Sienjo to choose its next Oh path. my god. Oh 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 my god. The plague's author. The ruin author. This is a chess game between eons. If you don't stand with the winners, you stand to lose. And this time, we will put the abundance in their grave. Oh my god. 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 We made it. We finished it. Amusing. <laughs> crap. Oh, I have a lot of text. Okay, hold on. Let's answer these. Okay. Oh, answer Don Hong's text, I guess. Uh, what a weird thing. Dude, that cutscene. Oh my god, that cutscene. That was amazing. Okay. Okay, oh my god. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. Did they bring the star on? Wait. There's so many questions. None of them answered. But oh my god, that scene was beautiful. And that's all I gotta say. Okay. Um, obviously you're busy these days. I would like to ask you to accompany me on a certain task. Uh, something wrong? Accompany you? So I'm serious. I want to meet the current High Elder of the Lafu Vidyata. 
I want to ask about some bygone matters so that I will better understand what I can still do to make amends for my past life. I'll see this through. Okay, I'll be there anytime you need me. Okay, thank you. Let us meet at Sinwood Pavilion in Exalting Sanctum. The dragon returns home. And then March 7th. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> no. No, I am pom pom. Yeah, you totally look like pom pom. Alright, stop kidding around. There's something important. I suddenly remember there was one thing that caught my attention during the Sugar Ball Food. The Matrix is present. Okay. It's worth asking, huh? We already knew she wanted to do this. Today is also March 7th. That's not, but... No problem. Besties. Okay. Yay! So we have marches. That's not March. This is March. We have marches, um, companion quests, and then we have Dunhong's companion quests. Alternatively, this could also be Fushwin's and Baiwu's companion quest. But. <laughs> not the ones that texted me. Okay. Sunny deeds beget rainy needs. Help you Relo Six and Bella Bog solve their enormous crisis again. But we go back here to play. So, I guess it's a side thing, but it's fine. What do we do? How do we do that? Is it in here? Trailblaze Continuance, Future Market, Prologue. There is still some time before the Express departs. Go speak with March to pass the time. Okay. I mean, actually, no, I can't do that. Because <laughs> then my thing shows. Talk with March. <gasps> Look who's here! Is this a letter? <sighs> okay. A letter quickly li quietly lies on the table in the passenger car. Judging from the texture and style, it's from Jianzhou. On the paper, the names of the sender and recipient are all omitted, and only a faint trace of dim ink vaguely visible. You unfold the letter, the ink immediately becomes visible. It's as if an invisible hand holds the pen like a sword, making swift, decisive strokes. After a moment, the content regains its original appearance. A letter of unknown origin. I have learned of your return to your home. How you upend the ancient seas and save the world from danger. I am sure this has recovered your forgotten memories. In accordance with our old vow, we should once again roam our lands of past, drink in celebration, and recount our great adventures. Huh? Upend the ancient sea and return it's, to it's, old it's for Don, Yeah, it's for Don Hong. It's a letter for Don Hong, but who is it from? Exactly. I should ask the conductor. Okay. Clouds leave no trace. Oh, start at the beginning. Hi, Luca. I've always lived in the underworld and never ever imagined. I, I just can't believe I can look at my home from this angle. 
Well, technically, Sam, we're at the scene, so, but really isn't that big, is it? <laughs> it's okay. It's called perspective. Oh, like how things look big when they get closer. I get that. You've been traveling for so long. Surely you've been to places way bigger than this. <laughs> yeah, and some time my face right now. But I used to hide in the storage room in my dad's workshop and go through old picture books. They were full of places I've never seen before. Oceans, forests. I heard Yalo, <laughs> uh, I mean, Yarillo, right? I heard Yarillo 6 didn't used to be all snowy like this. And it had all sorts of landscapes and natural environments. They are totally magical to me. I never have imagined it myself. Oh my god, I want to take you to see an ocean. Maybe it's too unrealistic to wish it in a fort. Oh, you deserve to see it. It's good to have a dream, right? <sighs> Luckily for me, and for you, and your friends with me. So, I want to can take you everywhere. Nothing yeah, is impossible. That's the spirit. Yeah. I want to see some places with a little more get up and go, you know? Still, those places wouldn't be home. <laughs> Case in point, I've only been here for a while, but I'm already kind of missing the taste of the underworld air. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love him. He's so cool. Okay. Oh, characters involved in this mission are currently occupied by others. Chris. Okay, I don't know. What, I'll just do this real quick. I have to talk to March. Hey, did you hear about our next stop? It's a world called Penaconi. I hear it's a beautiful, dreamy place. I'm so excited. But Pom Pom said the banquet we were invited to is still a little ways off. Hmm, what can I do to pass the time? Huh? Is that my phone? Must be the group chat. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's screw chat with Grania. Can you read this message, Express Crew? Long time no see. It's been a while, Branya, Branya. We're missing you so much. Great, I was worried that you can receive messages. I know you're busy, so I'll keep it short. Recently, I've been work- Frick. Okay. Recently, I've been working on preparing a soul warm festival, a traditional Bellabogian festival. The standard celebrations for this festival have been suspended for years due to the fragmentum and the lockdown and Bellabogians now really need a heated celebration to lift their spirits. So if you have time, I'd like to invite you to the Soul Warm Festival and witness what we're achieved so far in reviving Bellabog. Yeah! I will come for sure. Me too! Festivals and celebrations are right up my alley. It'd be great if you can come. Everyone has been missing you. Has Don Hong been busy these days? He hasn't sent any messages in the group chat. He's holed up in his room recently. I guess he turned off all of his devices. We'll check in them for you. Thank you, March. I'm looking forward to seeing you all at the Soul Warm Festival. <laughs> and emoji. Ah, that Don Hong. Just ignore Branya. I bet you he's just reading them. He just doesn't answer. Room and talk to him. That's what I would do. Future market. Prologue. Wow, this is cool. Okay. Okay, I think 
this is where we're gonna end it. But before we do, I'm gonna stand next to Luca because maybe I'll get Luca if I do this. I don't know. Wishful thinking. Why am I rubber painting? Before we end for the day, night, for the night, it's like 3 a.m. <laughs> we're gonna do a wish. We have one. We have one. We have one wish. We got one wish. Wishy, wishy, wishy. Wish, 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 wish. We have, t we have, t we have four. Um, let's see. When was the last time I got a thing? I think. I think it was about the most recent thing I got, right? Hello. Was down hung? Yeah, I just got a down hung. So. You don't know. What is this? Around. 30 something, I think. Right? Because it was 19, but then we also got 30, probably 30 something. I don't know. I can count. I don't know why I didn't just do that. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 31. 31. Sweet 32. 32. Oh. I mean, I can just. Screw it. 33. Or, yeah, 33. be sad if I hit this button. Okay, it's fine. Three five. Okay, we got nothing. That's kind of a sad way to end it. <laughs> Where's that's right. Okay. Um. Dang. Sad. Well, we saw up 16 days. It's for 35. We saw 16 days. So this is fine. Yay! So we finished. We are caught up on the story. Let's go. So we have caught up on the main story and we are finally at the new 1.4 things. And this is, that is exciting. I am, I am, I am exciting. I am exciting. <laughs> I am excited. Oh my God. Okay. So the next stream, don't know when it will be, but we will be ex going back to Bellabog, I guess. That's exciting. While I'm doing my outro, I'm, I'm collecting. I got a thing. Hold on. I'm also collecting. Somebody used my silver wool. Yay. Ooh. Two people did. Oh. Anyway, I got distracted. <laughs> 
Oh, I cannot wait to play. I am, this is, I am hyper fixating on this game, for real. This is probably the one thing I will be streaming for the next few while. But yeah, next time we will be doing, we'll be going back to Bellavog and maybe we'll do a companion quest. But I kind of like keeping that for myself, you know? Who knows? Who knows? But we are for sure doing the prologue is what they called it. So that's kind of exciting. But anyway. Thank you for stopping by, sticking around, and thank you for watching the VOD. Whether it be here on Twitch or on my YouTube, if you found it there. Um, yeah. I still don't know how to end off streams. So, here's an awkward bye-bye. Bye! -bye. Bye.